This weekend, we will be honoring a trailblazer from right here in East Tennessee. The Navy conducting the first ever all female flyover tomorrow, a tribute to the life and legacy of this woman, Rosemary Mariner, the Navy's first female jet pilot. Mariner died on January 24th after a battle with cancer. WATE 6 on your side reporter Elizabeth Kubel sharing Mariner's story through the eyes of the pilots flying in her honor and one who flew with her as well. Many know Rosemary Mariner as a naval aviation pioneer. The lucky ones know her as a mentor, a boss, and a friend. She was my commanding officer in the Navy. One of the things that I so admired about her was she wasn't a champion of women. She was a champion of people. And in her squadron, the, uh, the great divide between races and uh, genders, there just was, it was invisible. The Navy's first female jet pilot, Mariner paved the way for women like her, hoping to serve our country. A feat not lost on the women who will honor her Saturday. Captain Mariner truly was a trailblazer. She basically uh, made it possible for us to do our jobs that we're doing today. Um, I've never had anyone tell me no in the Navy. No one's ever told me I couldn't go on deployment or fly in a jet aircraft. And those are the types of things that women like Captain Mariner were up against. I am so grateful to have been included and invited. It's just a really huge honor to recognize a woman who blazed a trail, who didn't have anyone that went forward to show her the way, and then to say thank you for opening that door for us and uh, creating a way for women to serve their country and serve in combat. The Navy conducting its first ever all female flyover. Mariner, who died after a battle with ovarian cancer, will be laid to rest with full military honors. Rosemary's real legacy would be would be in her love. A woman with so many accolades and so many accomplishments, and when you got closer to her, that all faded because she was such a woman of love. So this weekend, a time for those that knew her well to celebrate a life well lived. Reporting in Knoxville, Elizabeth Kubel, WATE, six on your side. Now that first all-female flyover again will happen tomorrow. It is scheduled for 2:30 at the New Loyston Cemetery in Hickory Valley between Andersonville and Maynardville. Uh, also, we're going to have a crew out there for you and full coverage of this historic event starting tomorrow evening at six o'clock.